Hi, I am Rajesh Shipal, Chief Scientist at iSTEM Research at CCAM NCBSTIFR Campus, Bangalore. Our team, with the collaborators from Daichi Sankyo and National Eye Institute NIH, have done a wonderful piece of work on the role of long non coding RNAs in human lung morphogenesis. My graduate student, Polomi Banerjee, has made an excellent contribution for this work, and currently she is pursuing her postdoctoral research at the University of Edinburgh. I am happy to share this video highlight of our work, which is published in Stem Cells in November 2017. Early lung development is a tightly orchestrated process encompassing three stages. One, the formation of definitive endoderm, two, the anteriorization of definitive endoderm, and three, the specification and further maturation of proximal as well as distal lung precursors. There is enough literature available on the association of various genes, proteins and their interactions during lung development. However, studies involving the role of long non-coding RNAs in lung development are very limited. Recently, novel classes of long non-coding RNAs have been characterized at a very rapid pace. And obviously, this is driven by paradigm shifts in our understanding of genomic architecture, regulation and transcriptional output, as well as by innovations in sequencing technologies and computational biology. With this aim, we first differentiated human-induced pluripotent stem cells into distal and proximal lung precursors using specific combination of growth factors as well as small molecules in a stepwise manner, thus recapitulating in vivo milestones of lung development. The distal and proximal lung precursors were further authenticated using state-specific markers at mRNA and protein levels as well as by electron microscopy. Further, we took the help of next generation sequencing to identify long non coding RNAs and categorize them based on their proximity to protein coding neighbors essential for lung morphogenesis. In the bioinformatic analysis of sequencing data, aided us to recognize a novel long non coding RNA, RP113802 3.2, which is located upstream of Pitex2 gene that plays a major role in maintaining the left right symmetry during lung development. Interestingly, RP11 also includes a binding site for PARP1. Immunoprecipitation assays revealed that PARP1 is a repressor for PITEX2 and also indicated enhanced association of PITEX2 with nuclear beta catenin in the distal lung precursors. PARP1 silencing resulted in drastic increase in distal markers, thus allowing us to explore whether PITEX2 is involved in the enrichment of distal lung precursors. Following that, whole genome microarray analysis of RP11 and PTX2 knockdown was carried out in bipotential lung progenitors. As a result, enrichment of proximal progenitors was clearly detected, thereby implicating an altered distal proximal pattern. In parallel, dysregulation of mint effectors in both knockdowns highlighted direct modulation of PTX2 by RP11 through the wind axis. Taken together, our findings demonstrate that the link RNA RP11 drives distal proximal lung pattern by regulating PTEX2 expression via PARP1 and bin signaling cascade. Now, similar experiments with RC202, which is a CFTR mutant IPS cell line, helped us to demonstrate the significance of our hypothesis in the disease state as well. Further, we are trying to develop an in vitro lung disease model using bleomycin. Thank you for watching our video abstract.